Oh my goodness, just look at these beautiful river views. I think it's a blessing in disguise when you plan to travel in central London. Many people choose to travel through underground tube train and when you come out you see these beautiful river views and green pathways. It was a breezy cloudy day and I was just enjoying my walk. I was so much looking forward to give you a house tour of this pretty house situated in Chelsea, London. It gives me a great pleasure to show you around pretty places and houses. Hello everyone, hope everyone's feeling well. Welcome back to my channel Lavish and Blissful Living. So today I'm in Chelsea, London and I'm at Carly's house. So Carly's house was the home of Scottish philosopher and historian Thomas Carly and his wife Jane. So we will go inside and I will give you a house tour and I will show you around and we will see all the classic interiors of this Victorian house. So stay with me and watch till the end to get the full experience. Hidden in the quiet back streets of Chelsea, London is the home of Thomas and Jane Carley. A twist of fate turned the Carleys into stars of the 19th century literary world. Now you're looking at the front parlor of the house. The room is filled with classic furniture, portraits, carpets. Suddenly their townhouse was the place to be. When you pull the bell to enter, you will follow in the footsteps of Dickens, Ruskin, Tennyson and many more. William Makepeace Thackeray said, Tom Carley lives in perfect dignity in a house in Chelsea with a snuffy Scotch maid to open the door and best company in England ringing at it. The house is filled with photographs, painting and furniture belonging to Thomas and Jane Carley who lived in the house from 1834 until their deaths. Now you're looking at charming and rustic kitchen. The kitchen gives you vintage vibes and you just got a feeling in your mind that how people used to live in 18th century. Their lifestyle and lots more. They used to boil water here for bathing and the kitchen is in the basement of the house. I was absolutely fascinated by this decorative plates. The look of the kitchen is quite simple yet functional. Now you are looking at the drawing room on the first floor. The room is filled with classic furniture, portraits, photographs. I am just loving the color and the pattern of the carpet. So Thomas Carley was born in 1795. He married Jane in 1826 and 8 years later they moved from Scotland to the house in Chelsea in which they spent the rest of their lives. Jane died in 1866, Thomas in 1881. The house and its contents were acquired by a memorial trust in 1895 and were given to the National Trust in 1936. Now you are looking at the bedroom of the house. The bedroom looks quite simple yet charming. Here you will see personal belongings of Jane, 
photographs and some paintings. So Chelsea in the Carlist time was less fashionable and considered more remote than it is now, which made the house more affordable for them. Though their fortunes improved, the Carlists never attained great wealth and could not run to domestic luxuries. Almost everything in the house is genuinely original rather than a reproduction or something bought at an antiques auction. So now I am moving towards the attic study room. So the attic study room is soundproof. This is a very Victorian room with pale pink wallpaper and dozens of framed prints lining the wall. Carley had the study built with an air cavity on all sides to buffer the sound from outside. More interesting facts about the attic study. In August 1853, a builder was instructed to build an attic room for Carley's to work from. The author wrote, after deep deliberation, I have decided to have a top story put upon the house with double walls, lighted from above and artfully ventilated, into which no sound may come. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. No doubt, attic study room is outstanding. And you can see here lots of personal belongings, portraits, pictures and much more. No doubt the house takes you back in Victorian times and gives you an impression that the couple still lives there because you can see lots of their personal belongings, furniture, painting, portraits and many things. Now I am outside in the garden enjoying the fresh air and a walk in the garden. I was just wandering around and relaxing. I was just passing by, then I spotted the statue of Sir Thomas More. He was an English lawyer, judge, social philosopher, author, statesman. He also served Henry VIII as Lord High Chancellor of England. Please do like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching my vlog. Bye.